Welcome to my channel. I have another little restoration project here. Right in front of you is an Elvicta 530 spirit level. And it's pretty much, well, unrestored, obviously. I've seen much better days. I'll give you a bit of a rundown now. So you can see it's um, it hasn't been touched in a long time. It has grit, paint by the look of it, some kind of oily residue. I can feel it by just by touching it. And so um, I look forward to being able to clean this little beauty up. Now uh, what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is check for accuracy using another level make sure that both horizontal and, and vertical um, planes get the same result and uh, because if that's the case then I don't actually have to touch the actual level inside. I will however be removing these plates, give them a nice polish and clean up that kind of residue that you can see in there give it a nice sand and finish off with a um, finish of linseed oil. I may not actually touch these corner bits here simply because I don't want to disturb those unless of course I find that they're um, causing an issue in terms of leveling and so on but um, one thing at a time. So the first thing I've done is try to find a suitable screwdriver that is thin enough to fit in these very, very thin slots, but also um, wide enough too to cover as the majority of the surfaces I can. So, So they're fairly clean, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a tiny bit of linseed oil on them to act as a bit of lubrication, given that I'm going to be using linseed oil anyway. So that'll give it an opportunity for it to seep in there. Right, so we're going to say that on the horizontal plane we're doing pretty well. There's also no rocking. If I push down, there's no rocking going on there, so it's got a nice flat area. You can see compared to the one below. And now I'm going to try and simulate the same but for the vertical plane. Excellent. Right, so now that we've established that the this level is actually working, geez, I'm actually quite surprised. It really just requires a bit of a clean-up. Now, these have been sitting in there for a while now with the linseed. I'll just give it a bit more of a soaking. And then I'll attempt to remove them. A piece of cake. Now 
You can see how the linseed oil has worked its way in there, which is what I wanted. So we'll just now grab that. We have we have the mechanism or the plate that holds that level in place and as I said I'm not going to touch that I'm quite happy with the way that it's come out but it gives you an idea of what to what's inside I certainly didn't know nothing on that end so it's clearly a matter of just obviously removing this plate and then that plug will come out as well I presume but I'm not going to touch so now I'm going to do the same for this one here I'll keep all the stuff together Now that is dirty. Well, I'm glad we got um, got that done without any damage, which is fantastic. Always a bonus. Next step is now to start cleaning this up. And so what I'm going to try first is using cotton buds to be able to kind of get into the edges there. And I'm just going to be using a just a glass cleaner, a non-petroleum based cleaner first. See how that goes. So the window cleaners, the cotton buds seem to have done a fairly reasonable job. I'm not too worried about right on the edges here because the cover plate will hide that. So it's basically just the top section here that I need to be concerned about. And the other side has come out okay as well. A little bit dusty and dirty in there but um, aside from that it's fine. Again without having to remove it altogether. So now I'm going to start doing a little bit of uh, timber work on this. Get it to its former glory. Now before I start doing any sanding, I will get the um, a rag <coughs> with a whole lot of methylated spirits and see if I can remove the greasy, sticky substance that's on here first. Yep, she's filthy. Not bad for a first clean up. Certainly took a lot of crap out. Even some of the paint came out, so um, quite happy with that. Of course, when working with this, I had to keep in mind that that actually sticks up. So to make sure that I wasn't leaning it onto the uh, onto the table when it's upside down. Not taking much off, I'm just going very slowly at the moment. 
timber is still a little bit wet, so that's gumming up the sandpaper anyway. I'll just do this. You can see it's already gummed up. Just, um, just a bit of light sanding and you can see there's still a lot of stains and a lot of things, a lot of imperfections there. But, give you an idea about the difference. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? That is one beautiful piece of timber, that. Still can't manage to get rid of all this paint there. But, um, certainly loving the result. Well worth a uh, hard effort. Pretty good. Still a little bit of paint remnants here and there, but it adds to the age. Right, so next thing is to look at doing the brass components. So we're making a little bit of progress and I don't want this to be super shiny. I don't want it to be new. I like this kind of, you know, clean but you can still see that there is some kind of dullness in the brass and so on. I'm really happy with that, with that look. I think that's a good compromise. Clean but not blingy. Kind of retaining its imperfections. So these got a little bit scratched up obviously when I was sanding and uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video I didn't want to take these out because I've got another timber framed level in which I did take these out and um, that ended up being quite difficult to kind of get back in accurately so um, I much prefer to leave it sitting that it's sitting nicely there it's not being lifted so I'll just uh, go ahead and try to just polish off these um, these ends get rid of the paint I don't know if you can see this. So just a bit on the dirty side. And all I'm doing is grabbing the buffing wheel.
So I'm happy with that. That will definitely do the trick. You can see I've actually just cleaned up the <coughs> screw heads as well. So a little bit more cleaning on the timber, just around the uh, the edge where the brass meets, and it should be pretty close. Right, so I'm happy with the results. So I think it's time to um, start adding the linseed slash mineral terps um, coating on this. So let's start with, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add around this area here just to kind of give it protection against the elements and then once I've done all that then I'll put the covers on. So, here's my little bucket of linseed oil and here's the grain. Let's have a look what this is going to look like. Oh yeah. It does not disappoint. I'm quite pleased uh, with the results. Certainly a lot better than what it was. And um, it's still usable, it's still got its patina. So um, yeah, really pleased with the results. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got something out of it. And um, thanks for watching as always.